I wanted to be a doctor for the same reason that you probably do. I really like science and I wanted something where I would be able to help people. What I didn't know is how miserable working as a doctor would actually make me. I thought that in professional school, I'd be learning about the intricacies of the human body. I was really interested in getting down into the nitty gritty of things, learning about the why and how we fixed it. What I didn't expect was for it to be actually a lot more about the what. I remember once I asked one of my professors, professor, why is it that we get a delay in pupil dilation with a grade one or two RAPD? My professor's answer was, don't worry about it. It's not gonna be on the board exam. Except the thing was, board exam or not, I really just wanted to know why. As shitty as things were, I convinced myself that everything would be okay. As long as I made it through school, once I was out in the real world and working, I would get a feel for how fulfilling this career actually really was. How wrong I was. In my fourth year, I started actually seeing patients on my own. I remember this one patient that I was pretty sure had glaucoma. I had him do a couple of extra tests and I went the extra mile to chalk up a really detailed care plan for him. His response? No, I don't believe you. I can see just fine. Nobody told me that working as a doctor meant working with people who sometimes didn't necessarily want to be helped. Some people didn't appreciate the work that I put in or didn't believe that I had their best interests at heart. I kept going though. Maybe this was the cost sunk fallacy at work, but I had come too far and sunk way too much money into this career to give up on it so soon. I graduated, got a job, saw lots of patients, and made lots of money. There were some good days and there were some bad days, but the longer I worked and the more patients that I saw, the more unhappy I became. Then I started to see a pattern. I realized the thing that I cared about the most, actually, was getting gratitude from patients. Wanting to help people? That was bullshit. I cared more about feeling needed and appreciated. How sucky is that? So I quit my job and I changed tact. Here are the three biggest lessons that I learned. Lesson number three. At my lowest point throughout this entire story, I became obsessed with personal development and productivity. I felt convinced that spending my time properly going to the gym, reading, or journaling would help me feel happy. Suffice it to say, it didn't work. I later realized that while personal growth and productivity are great things and can enhance a good life to make it a great one, it's not gonna make an unhappy life suddenly feel fulfilling. That I think has to come from a more fundamental change, not just waking up at 5 a.m. for the sake of it. Number two, I used to think that the job mattered way more than the people that I was doing the job with. Looking back, Part of the reason that optometry school sucked so much was because people cared about different things than I did. They valued breadth over depth and cared more about the what than the why. Don't get me wrong, these are not inherently bad things. They're just different from the things that I care about. In other words, the career matters less than the type of people that it attract and how much I have in common with those people. Now think back to the last time that you learned something new. How exciting was that? How much fun was it to finally get that new thing down? To feel yourself getting better at something every single day? I think a lot of us have lost this kind of magic in our everyday lives. Lacking the feeling of progress is a shortcut to misery. I'm learning that progress is an important part of what makes me happy. Now, if you're torn between doing graduate school or professional school, you can check out this video right over here.